Tick Tick Tutorial 2022 How to Use Tick Tick in the Easiest Way. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how you can use Tick Tick in the easiest way possible, and I'm gonna take you step by step through the whole process. So, first of all, let's discuss what Tick Tick really is. Tick Tick is an online platform that allows you to manage your projects and keep you in productivity and it helps you stay organized, stay creative and manage all your tasks and works in one place. So now that we have understood what TickTick -Tick is, let's get right into it and sign up for it. Now, of course, if you already have an account, you can just go directly and sign in. But if you don't, don't worry, it's totally free. We're going to go and sign up for it. Now you can keep any name. It's totally free. Then you're going to put in your email, you're going to make a password, and then you're going to sign up. And once you've done that, it's not going to take you very long. It's going to get you right into the platform. Now, first of all, when you're here, let's not get started yet. We're going to go to our mail and TickTick's going to send us a confirmation email. And just to make things a bit quicker, we're just going to confirm it right now because we don't want any issues later. So we're just going to refresh this tab once we've confirmed our email. And now we can get into the real work. So this is your tick tick interface. So now let's discuss what do we have in it. So first of all, this is your inbox. Over here, you will find all your tasks and your lists and your tags and your filters and your subtasks, everything will be found in your inbox. Now, this is the today box, meaning what tasks you have to do today. This is the next seven days box and the next seven days, what tasks you have. And I'll explain these in brief steps. So do not worry. First of all, let's go to the settings because here I need to show you the different features TikTok has. So if we go to preference, we can see in the features, we have Eisenhower matrix, which focuses on urgent and important tasks. First, we have Pomo timer, which helps you keep focused on all tasks. We have a habit feature. This is a helpful one because it creates a habit and keeps track of it. So if you want to start a habit, but you don't have any app or program to help you go along with it, then you could just turn habit on, put in your habit, and then you can follow your routine as it works. And then there's obviously the mini calendar which views your agendas and tasks in a calendar. Now, if we go down here, you can see the date and time. You can change the time format from 24 hours to 12 hours. You can even tell them what day to start the week on. For example, I prefer if they started on Monday, so I can just change it to that. These are different uh, settings. You can uh, tell TickTick to give you a daily reminder, daily alert time. It can be 9, 10, 11, whatever you like. And when you go to task default, you can set a default date for creating a new task. So it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be day after tomorrow, whatever you like. And these are all the default settings that you can keep in TickTick. So now I should also show you the different themes that TickTick provides us. So as you can see, you can make it gray, you can make it dark. I prefer dark, so let's work in this. So once we've done this, now let's get into the main program. So now we go to lists, we click on the plus sign, and once we have done that, we're gonna create a list. So for example, let's create YouTube CEO, and we can give it any color. For example, let's give it red, and you can create a subfolder in it. I don't want to do that right now because I don't have any use for it. But you can do that for your tasks or lists or programs. So once we're in type, there are two types of lists. There's a task list and then there's a note list. In your task list, obviously, as the name says, you're going to see a list of your tasks. In the note lists, you can take notes and it's going to give you a list of all your notes. So I don't want to take notes. I want to show you the tasks. So we're going to go with task list and we're going to save it. Now, once we've done that, as you can see, it gave us a list of YouTube CEO. Now, what do we have to do with it? I'm going to show you right now. So if we want to add a task, we're going to go up here and click on the search bar where it says add task to YouTube CEO, press enter to save. So for example, I want to add a task, let's say YouTube marketing. And now we're just going to click enter and look at that. It has made us a task. Now in this, we can give different descriptions like 
upload and my you can add any type of description you like i only added it just for example now once you've done that you can play around with it you can change its font you can bold it whatever you think looks best for your text and then you can come here you can write comments for for example if you want to tell yourself some different types of tips or you're working on this with someone else and you want to give them tips so you can just write in the comments don't remove task and they're gonna see it because the comment is right down there now if we go over here in the bottom right we can see add subtask now what does that do if we click on that it's gonna add a subtask in YouTube marketing in which you can put on different subtasks for example I'm gonna write here social media and then I can add another subtask I can call it real life interaction whatever you like to write and you can add as many subtasks as you like as you can see so now what you're gonna do I'm gonna delete all these subtasks now once these subtasks have been made you can give different descriptions to these subtasks as well to guide your team or yourself and uh, once they're done what you can do is just go on this and you're gonna click on that box and it's gonna check it and it's gonna say that the task has been completed and once you go over here you're gonna click on it again and there you go your task gets completed and once you've completed the subtasks you can just go on the main task and you can click on that as well and look at that all your tasks have been completed for today so as you can see that is how you manage your tasks now this is one type of view and uh, list section you can view your tasks in a different way as well so if we go on more and we go to view if we click on those three boxes this one so this is the Kanban view now what happens in the Kanban view is it gives you a view like this and if you're more adjusted to small task bars and boxes and viewing spaces then Kanban view is for you because Kanban view minimizes the whole taskbar and creates it in front of you like this now once it's in front of you like this you can go to new section you can call this section for example you can call it in or you can just name it not started and you're gonna go on new you're gonna name it progress you're gonna new you're gonna name it completed now once this has happened for example if I've done this I'm gonna put it in completed if I'm doing this I'm gonna put it in progress and if I've done all of these I'm just gonna put them in completed there we go and this is why Kanban view is so helpful because you can just switch the different tasks from not started to progress to complete it in like seconds so we're gonna go back to the normal view and we have all these completed of course and even here we can put them back into not started but Kanban view is just quicker and easier in my opinion so this is basically how you manage your tasks and lists now moving on to tags what are tags? Tags are basically if you want to tell someone something important. For example, link and description and just catchy color like yellow. And uh, we're just going to go and save. And once we've done that, look at that. The tag has been created. Now what to do with the tag? You're going to go on list. You're going to go on your tasks. You're going to click on those three buttons. And here you can see tags. Now you click on tags, click on the tag, and you click OK. And as you can see, the tag was tagged on the task and once it's tagged as you can see it tells the worker that you need to put link in description basically it tells you whatever you want them to know and furthermore you can also upload attachments you can save your work as a template you can convert it to a note if you want to help anyone you can pin it for example, you can give different tasks different priorities. For example, if you want to give a task more priority, you can pin it on the top. If you want to unpin it, you just go on the task, you go over here, see? You can give them different priorities or you can just unpin it. And that is how easy it is. So lastly, I'm going to show you habit. Now what habit is that it creates a routine for you. So if you go on plus sign, daily check-in. For example, if you want to make a routine for, let's say, the gym, and you can select the frequency for daily, goal, achieve it all, goal days, uh, let's call it 21 days, and it's going to set a timer. Section, you can add any. I'm going to add afternoon. Reminder, you can add a reminder, and then you can save it. 
Once you've saved it, you're gonna come here every day, you're just gonna tick them one by one until your tasks have been fulfilled. Now, once you've fulfilled your tasks, it tells you that you have fulfilled them, as you can see in the calendar, and then it's gonna restart the cycle because 20 more days left. And that is how helpful this is if you want to continue a routine. So basically, this was Tick Tick, and uh, this is how easy it is to use and how helpful it is because as you can see, any type of tasks, any number of tasks you have, you can organize it in any way you want in Tick Tick. So I hope this video was helpful to you, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.